Hello, Internet. It's your friend, the true dark magician, coming back at you live, well, at the time of this recording anyway, live from my magician's lair. Yes, I've left the comfort and safety of AAA Gaming in Wilbraham, Massachusetts for greener pastures. I'm venturing out on my own, doing things a little differently now, and I'm going to be coming for you from now on from my own place, from my own place in an indisclosed location, from now on to bring you all the same great high quality unboxing videos you've come to know from my channel. Unfortunately today I've got nothing to unbox, but instead, so to keep you guys entertained and happy because I know how much you love this, I personally love these types of videos, I'm bringing you a countdown video today. Uh, I'm going to be doing my top five most anticipated pre-orders of 2021 that I'm still waiting for. Why top five? Because I'm too lazy to do a top ten. <laughs> so, starting up right now, getting us started right now, at number five, we have the My Hero Academia Momo Yayorozo, uh Age of Heroes statue by Bam Presto. And this one barely made the cut. It is only here solely because I'm still waiting for it. I pre-ordered this months ago. Many, many months ago. At the time of this recording. And I'm still waiting for it. First, when I pre-ordered it said it's going to come out the month after. And then pushed it back another month, and then another month, and then another month after that. And here we are, at the time of this recording, it's September, and I'm still waiting for it. <laughs> and I'm going to continue to wait for it, because while well, I've been waiting so long, the build-up the build up has got to be a good payoff. And two, I just want it. I want it so bad. There are so many Deku, Bakugo, even Shoto figures out there. This is... There's only two Yai Momo figures out at the time of this recording. And the first one is well over $100, so I'm not going to be buying it anytime soon. But this one was right at my price range, at only like $20, $25. So yeah, I've got this pre-ordered on BigBadToyStore.com, and I'm going to continue to wait for it. And when I do, I will bring you an unboxing immediately. Oh, I just hope it comes out soon, because I really can't take it much longer. But okay, moving on, because these things tend to run really long, and um, I want to keep, I want to continue to try to change that. We've got, and you're going to love this, another set of My Hero Academia figures. At number four is the My Hero Academia, my Hero Academia, the movie, World Hero Mission figure set by Bandai Spirit. If you're, if you're wondering why I did this, it's because, well, I can't find a, I can't find a photo out there of all of them, all the figures together. So I did find this concept art, and I'm showing it to you today, exactly why I want these three. It's because, well, look at them. They're beautiful. They're exactly like how they just, the figures are going to look exactly how like they looked in the movie. And it's just going to be a great addition to my collection, all three of them. Uh, Deku, uh, Bakugo, and Shoto. They all look just amazing in their um, un movie uniforms, and I can't wait to get these. And I can't wait to do an unboxing video for, of them for you. So yeah, keep a lookout for that. All right, moving on to number three. We have, and I'm cheating with this a little, but my list, my rules, the Pop-Up Parade Quintessential Quintuplet Set by Good Smiles. And can I just say, I freaking love these. I love the anime. I'm going to be reading the manga soon, so I'm going to love that. I am a sucker for a good romantic comedy, especially anime or manga, because, well, they're a lot funnier than American comedy um, comics. And honestly, 
romantic comic comedy animes are a lot funnier than American romantic comedy TV shows. So yeah, and Quintessential Quintuplets has been one of the best romantic comedies that I've seen since Toradora. And I freaking loved Toradora. So yeah, cannot wait to unbox all of these. I currently have them pre-ordered on rightstuff.com. They're all one order, so when they're all finally in and released, they'll be delivering them to me all together, and I can't wait to do an unboxing video for those. So yeah. Moving on to number th number two, and again, my list, my rules logic here. We've got... Mm, Ta-da! We've got the Marvel Future Fight Wolverine one-tenth scale statue by PCS Collectibles. And if you have to ask why, just freaking look at it. Look at him in all his glorious badassery. Look at it. Drink it in, people. This is Wolverine in his prime. His classic blue and yellow outfit. Claws out, ready to kick some ass. God. This would be a perfect addition to anyone's collection, anime or Marvel. And I know some of you anime fans out there, if you have such, if you have even a shred of love of, for Marvel in your hearts, you're going to want to get this. Because it is under $60, and it looks beautiful. It is, I currently have it for pre-order at BigBadToyStore.com, and it's actually coming out really soon, so I cannot wait for it. Get it while you can, people. Do not miss out on this one. And finally, number one, drum roll please, da la 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 The Yu-Gi-Oh! Blue Eyes White Dragon Silver Version Statue by First Four Figures. Yeah, again, just look at it. I've had this on pre-order for a while, and I kind of hesitated at first to get it, because I usually don't like spending a whole lot of money on just one statue. And at like $140 to $150, that's why I consider a big, that's why I consider a, a lot of money. And for those of you that know me, I take a quantity over quality um, approach to my collecting, but I just saw this and I had to have it. Especially for those of you that saw my unboxing video of my Dark Magician statue, this would make a wonderful complimentary piece to anybody who collects um, Yu-Gi-Oh figures or at least has a Dark Magician statue like the one I showed earlier in a previous video. Again, it's marked down as coming out in the fourth quarter of 2021 and um, no real specific month, but I'm hoping to get it before the end of December. It would make a wonderful Christmas present to myself. And yeah, it would make a wonderful end of the year unboxing video if I can. But if it doesn't come out then, I most people are anticipating it to come out uh, at least hopefully in January or February of 2022. Either way, I'm going to continue to wait for this one because honestly, it just looks gorgeous. It's going to be like one of the crown jewels of my collection when I get it. And I cannot wait to show it off to you, the internet, my fans, my friends. So yeah, keep on uh, keep an eye out for that. So that's what I, that's those are the top five figures I'm looking forward to getting still in 2021. My next video I'm going to show share with you all the top five figures I'm looking forward to getting in 2022 so far. So thank you for joining me today. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment. What are you looking forward? To? Uh, still looking forward to this year. What did you pre-order and where'd you get it? Share with it in the comments. And I will see you all next time. Until then, Internet, keep unboxing. Bye.